Day two of the returning safari rally and another six stages to run. This is a rally that should have been for Kalirov and Pera, but after all the drama in the final stage yesterday, the Finn returned to the action today with the simple task of staying on the road and bringing home some manufacturer championship points on Sunday afternoon. Up at the business end though, Oik Tanak, currently third overall. His job for today, to try and reel in the Toyota of Takamoto Katsuta ahead of him. He showed good early pace, despite having to lift off for some of the local wildlife. Sebastian Auger was quick through the day's opener. The Frenchman fighting back after his damper issues from day one, now 51.3 seconds behind Tanak in fourth overall. But it was our rally leader Thierry Neuville who showed no let up, snatching the early morning stage win from Ogier to extend his rally lead. It did not take long though before Sebastian Ogier found his rhythm. The world champion was spectacular through stage nine. Despite some locals occasionally appearing in front of him, he took his first stage win since the Thursday night super special and more importantly, another eight seconds out of Tanak. Meanwhile, Takamoto Katsuta was doing a mega job, dodging zebras and maintaining second position, only managing a fifth fastest through stage nine, but crucially only 1.2 slower than Tanak to keep the gap at a healthy 31 and a half seconds. Could this be his first ever WRC podium finish? Did you see zebra on the stage on my own boat? Yeah, I had to stop quite, you know, Lost quite a lot of time because of Zebra, but nice to see <laughs> Zebra on the stage, so good safari park. The final stage of the morning loop, aptly named Sleeping Warrior, and Adrian Formo had a fight of his own. The roof vent on his Ford Fiesta ripped off and the car was filling with dust. The Frenchman made it to the end of the stage without losing too much time, still in sixth, 39.4 behind his M Sport teammate Gus Greensmith. Difficult with the dust inside the car, the rooftop get, come off and uh, after I see nothing it was really difficult to see where the walk was, so I need to go. While Sebastian Auger took another stage win and brought the gap to Tanak down to 37.6, out front it was Thierry Neuville who was just driving to the pace of others, looking after the car and maintaining his rally lead. He returned to midday service, 28 seconds clear of the rest of the field. Into the afternoon and a repeat loop of the morning's action and another stage win for Sebastian Auger in his quest to reel in Tanak. The gap now down to 35.5. Thierry Neuville extended his lead over Katsuta by 4.4 seconds despite once again having to get on the brakes for those zebras just getting a little too close to the action. He was not a happy man. I had to break down in the longest way of the of the stage uh, to avoid the zebra we were standing in the middle of the road so I lost probably four or five seconds there but uh, other than that uh, it was a nice clean run. Just like day one Kenya saved the drama for the final stage. Danny Sordo made it through to take the stage win before the heavens opened for everyone else. With the conditions deteriorating those drivers coming later on were to get the worst of the rainstorm. Oit Tanak was hemorrhaging time and he had to stop halfway through to clear his windscreen. Nearly two minutes lost and he dropped to fourth behind Ogier. Because my side, the screen heater was not working. Martin's side was working, my side not and I couldn't see it. Takamoto Katsuta struggled through the tricky conditions to hang on to second place but Ogier now just 18 seconds behind going into the final day. It was a spectacular drive from Thierry Neuville though, he ended the day as rally leader. I took quite some risks to try to keep on because I knew Roger was 12 minutes in front so uh, I kept pushing to, to don't lose any time and I'm really satisfied we are here. He didn't know it at the time of that interview but Neuville extends his lead to over 57 seconds from Katsuta with just five stages and 53 and a half kilometers to run on tomorrow's final day of Safari Rally.